Okie dokie, it's been a week since the last update. I have started forming the rows. Went right down the center and formed the first alleyway. Just so I had a... So I had a datum line to work from. As you can see, we had a week with some rain and some warm temperatures. And the weeds are coming up. Got grasses and sickle pod coming up everywhere as well as, um... Uh, what you call it, evening primrose. So, gonna be a lot of weeding out here. Well, I'm gonna get back to hoeing. Alrighty, there's the plot hoed. Not quite done yet. Uh, I'll need to flatten out the tops of these beds. And I did not finish hoeing out that alley. Uh, nor the rest of that alley yet, but this alley is definitely done. Same with this outside one. So what I'm going for is an 18 inch relative depth from the top of the bed to the center of the alley. And you want the beds to be flat on top and you want the alleys to be sloped. And that allows uh, drainage and it elevates the cotton plant because cotton hates having water on its tap root. So by elevating the cotton plant 18 inches and allowing an area for water to run off away from the taproot, you, um, you can uh, shape the land to better suit your crop. Now right here on my kneecap, just below it, is about 18 inches. And as you can quasi make out, uh, this mound is about to the top of my kneecaps. That's about 22, 21 inches. When I tamp this down, it'll be about perfect. It's not an exact science. This is really well-drained soil, so I've got a little bit more, a uh, little bit more slop. All righty, that's the fourth step. Uh, I'll have to get out here tomorrow morning and finish moving dirt. And as you saw before, this was uh, tilled just to break up the sod with a tractor, but all of this forming was by hand. Got my trusty hoe here. This is the second hoe I have used today. The first one snapped in half. The, the blade did. So I had to go run down to the hardware store and pick this one up. And this one sucks compared to the other one. But I got it done. That's one major step. Last major step before I can get uh, cotton in the ground. Well, it's the next day. And as you can see, I have finished cutting out my beds and alleys. And now I am tamping down the top of the beds to give them a nice flat top to prevent further erosion and to give me, well, I'm tamping them down. Flat top doesn't help prevent erosion, but firming up the soil does prevent erosion and by very slowly walking sideways, very slowly sidling down the tops of these beds, I am compacting the soil firming up the ground. There it is done. Flattened all the tops out, got all the alleys and beds made. That's it for today.